Hi everyone, Anata here again, and uh, today we're going to be playing Raptor again, and uh, we're going to pick up right where we left off, and, um, hold on. Alright, might be able to see me a little better now, it looks like I was off center. No! No demo. No. And, uh, so yeah, we're going to pick up right where we left off, and, uh, we're going to see if we can get any farther this time, so, let's get right into it. I like this place. Alright. Take out you guys. Pull you guys. Whoa! Those guys aren't messing around, are they? Why don't I already have my pilot license? I'm like a beast at flying these airplanes. It's all coming back to me. Any questions? <laughs> Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? Next thing I want to buy is the laser guidance system. Woo! I wasn't even looking. Blow up this bridge, yes? Oh, you guys are tough. You can t take a lot of sustained fire. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, the um, uh, the the laser that I'm gonna be getting this next round is um, uh, or sh I should be able to get it at the end of um uh, this wave, and basically the point of it is it has immediate target acquisition, and um. Uh, which means that, you know how, like, you know, these these bullets kind of have to track their target, and, you know, if the target's moving fast, they may not hit it. That's not the case with the laser. This will give me a lot of points. Yeah, there we go. Give me, that gave me $100,000 right there. But, yeah. With the, with the laser, it's just, oh, there he is. Poof, hit him. It's, it's remarkable. And I got the points, so I'll show you guys. Very next round here. Here, chirping. Now watch this. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. I will blow up your cars. I don't even care. What do we got here? Now see, those are the tough helicopters there. Oh yeah, and one... Oh! See, these guys have the death race. Oh, I'm so glad I avoided that. Oh! I'm gonna try my best to avoid getting hit by those, but if I do happen to get hit by one, you will see exactly why I hate it so badly. It's oh, it's bad. But um, uh, the, the the one major downside of the uh, the laser turret is that it um uh, only targets uh, things in the air. So like those guys, it won't hit him right there. I have to switch to my minigun to get him. But that's a very small price to pay for, the, for such an amazing weapon. I <laughs> wear her right, right into that. Blow up these apartment buildings. Your dwellings mean nothing to me. All right, need to keep moving. Need to keep moving. Can't stand still. I will die if I stand still. Standing still means you die. <laughs> the chick was sunbathing and I blew her up. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember ever seeing that before. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh man. And that kids is why you don't sunbathe, you know, where there's a war zone.
I mean, you know, that's that's the main reason. There might be a few others. But I'm sure that's the main one. Whoa, what are you doing? Blowing up tractors. Kablow! Oh, air to ground missiles. That's something I'll be selling. Thank you very much. Now, you'd think the ones that fire, you know, the guided bullets that kind of track you a little bit, those would be the ones you want to watch out for. But, ooh, ooh, shoot him, shoot him. <laughs> um, uh, but really, it's the ones that have a set fire path. Because it's like you don't pay as close attention to them, and then you find yourself running into their bullet stream. I mean, or maybe that's just, maybe I'm the only one that does that. Maybe I'm just an idiot and I don't. I just run into bullets without thinking. I mean, I can't discount that possibility, but I don't think that's it. I think that my original statement was the correct one, but you know, maybe I'm just trying to feel better about myself. Huh. I said I wasn't going to use those, and I only used them, I only activated them accidentally. But, uh, worked out well for me, though. So I ain't going to complain. Now, my guy seems to get paid for every pl every building, everything he blows up. I mean, I, I must be a mercenary. I thought, you know, when I first played him, I thought I was with the government or something. But I must be a mercenary. Because <clears throat> apparently they imply that I'm working for a private company. Whoa! Yeah, there you go, that's what that death ray does. I am, uh... So it completely obliterated my... My shield. It just, uh, hit me like that. I wasn't expecting it. And it really cost me. Boom. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that screwed me up. Next thing I'm gonna buy costs seven hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Oh, I forgot to sell my missiles. Knew I was forgetting something. That's why you always visit Harold's Death Emporium, even if you're certain you have nothing to do. Cause you may have something to do without realizing it. Kaboom! I mean, I don't know about you guys. But I just enjoy blowing things up. It really doesn't matter too awful much what it is. I mean, as long as it's a thing. You know? I mean, it's like... Like that Dos Equis guy. I don't always blow things up. But when I do, it's because they're things. And it's fun. And, by the way, I am, uh... I think I'm supposed to announce this. If I am, uh... Uh, if, 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 I, if I do anything like that, so I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not in any way sponsored by Dos Equis or I'm not affiliated with him in any way. And I'm going to go on the record and say nor would I accept a sponsorship from a an alcohol company. That's not something I really want associated with my name. And the main reason for that is because I'm expecting that the, uh, the age range that would be... Um, uh, uh, you know, would be most likely watching my videos. You know, I'm guessing it would be mostly teenagers, and especially young teenagers, and maybe even, you know, as young as, you know, 11, 10, whatever, something like that. And I do have a friend that says she watches her videos, or watches my videos, with her kid. And I think she's, or her kid is three, so I mean, but that's some, uh, you know, alcohol is not something that I want really portrayed to a, a young audience. You know, if you're of age and you decide you're going to drink, you know, beer, liquor of any sort, whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. But I'm not going to, you know, bring that up to kids or anything like that. That's, I don't think that's right. But you did not come here to hear me talk about... 
values in the middle of a video game, so let's just get back to blowing stuff up. Like this guy right here. You thought you were going to hit me with that death ray, didn't you? I'm going to go on to the next level. <clears throat> Whoa, I don't even know what that was. Okay, I think that was a hiccup. This is a pretty cool level design. I, I, I'm, I like this, I'm a fan of this. Whoops. Huh. Now, I think the reason why they give you, um, uh, you know, low end, le low end weapons like the, the like the any air any aircraft. Well, yeah, the air to air missiles. I guess so this is technically any aircraft missiles, even though they're being fired from an aircraft anyway. Um, uh, I think the reason why they give you those on um, uh, later levels like this is because you know if you lose way too much health, you start losing weapons, and that way you know they can get, they say, hey, look, you know. If you don't have the money to buy your sweet weapons back, here you go. Here's a consolation prize, you know. You know that way you're not, you know, screwed from the beginning. Uh, I did it again. I am, uh, played this game one time when I was a kid. And I thought it would be a good idea to sell my basic machine gun. Yeah, no, that that was a that was a stupid idea, really. Because it turns out that is uh, the most you know base weapon in the game. You know, like if you're going to keep one weapon, it, that's the weapon it needs to be, because it's the one weapon that hits absolutely everything. I mean, you know, it does very little damage, but I mean, you need it. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, if you can, ooh, that looks expensive. I wanna say, if you can get through this game without it, then you are way better at this game than I am. Significantly! No problem, I'm trying to add a, a commentary here, and I'm, uh, if I concentrate really well on dodging and, you know, do, doing a fair job on all this, then my um, uh, commentary seems to lack. And if I concentrate on giving a good, engaging, you know, maybe funny commentary, then my gameplay is gonna lack. I'm um, uh, not quite got the hang of doing both of them well just yet. <laughs> Oh, this is creepy. I don't remember this level. It's all at night. This is cool. I'm liking this. Oh man, whoever's in charge of level whoever was in charge of level design on this game, you know, mad props to them for this level. This is sweet. I know I said creepy at the very first beginning. Why can't it be both creepy and awesome? You know? A lot of things are both creepy and awesome. Think about the average movie set in a uh, in an asylum. You know? Both creepy and awesome. I take that back. A lot of movies set in an asylum were um, uh, both pretending to be creepy and sucked. But, I mean... You know, the concept, there we go, the concept of the, the of, of the asylum, um, uh, setting is both creepy and awesome. I guess it doesn't always work out, but here you go. Just this once, I'll show you guys the dumb fire missiles. Here's how they look. See? Don't do a lot of damage, but they hit everything. So you guys might want to see that. Whoa, stop it! Stop it! These guys don't care that they are shooting me in the face. I'm a human being, too. 
I looked at you guys and didn't realize that bullet was coming towards me. I dodged it just out of blind luck. But hey, blind luck or whatever, at least I did dodge it. Yeah, once we get into the out outer regions, we get we start getting them, uh, like the big uh, freaking tanks and stuff. And it is not fun. Let's blow things up. Blow up all the things. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> How did I hit every single missile that came my way? Didn't I just fight you? There's just one wave left in this sector, and that way I can get this sector knocked out. But yeah, here's the pulse cannon. Yeah. Fires at the same rate as your machine gun, and it does, you know, a lot of damage. Well, that was great. But yeah, this is great if you just need to clear rooms. It's the best, it's the, it's the third best forward-facing weapon in the game. I say third best. The best is the, um, uh, the death, uh, the, 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 the best is the, um, uh, the twin laser, and then the second best is the death ray. But this is, um, uh, you know, but the, the, the twin laser's a little cheap, though. I mean, I, I say that. All it is, is it's a... Death Ray that fires twice. So the Death Ray is a single beam that comes out of, um, uh, you know, the, the the bottom of your ship and comes like a forward-facing deal. And then the um, uh, the twin laser comes out, you know, has two forward blasts, one coming out of each of your wings. Yeah, about that. <laughs> no, why did I run right into that? Ooh. That's a, uh, a, looks like a, sort of like a ziggurat. But then it's all domey and stuff, too. I wonder what that's supposed to be. Because it looks like a ziggurat, but it has a big dome on it. Maybe it's the 13th wonder of the ancient world, the uh, famous domed ziggurat. Oh, that's tight. Whoa! I, I completely forgot about that. The flame record falls deep within the forest. Heart the bright flash, the deafening boom that follow. Tell your job here is through. Your skills have earned you the respect of many, including even the most hardened critics. The enemy will not be vigilant and prepared in honor of your growing reputation. This is the thought that disturbs you the most. Well, save. And that does it for this video. Um, it looks like I'm going to have... Well, I don't know. I did that last thing all but one level in one video. Um... I don't know. The next one I'll break down into two shorter ones. The next uh, sector I'll break down into two shorter episodes, and then uh, I'll have a third episode of um uh, going back through Bravo sector. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up so it's on the higher difficulty level, and then I'm going to I'm going to play a little bit in my uh, free time so I can you know gain up some uh, some points and buy the twin laser, and I'm uh, I'm going to replay. I'm do one more video of me going through Bravo Sector with the twin laser and just, you know, demolishing everything, letting you guys see that. And, uh, um, but other than that, though, so I should be done with this series in, uh, three more videos. Uh, just thought I'd give you guys a heads up on that. Uh, and then I'll have to find something else to play. <laughs> um, uh, but anyways...
Uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button, and I will see you all you guys next time.